Hello everyone, what's cooking the what? We are back again for another episode. I'm back, I know I've been out of the office for a while, doing some very important development stuff, I promise you. <laughs> we appreciate it, you know, you're busy. <laughs> Uh, and you know I can handle this by myself. You did a great job. You did a great job. Winston, you had Sunny, and you guys left me some food, so I was super. Oh, you got you got some. I, yes, yes, I ate it up. Did you get Sunny's um, the pumpkin the, the pumpkin smoothie? Uh, smoothie? Yes, yeah. I did. That's so good. thank you, Winston. Thank you, Sunny, for leaving me yeah. those goodies. I really appreciate it. But we have a really special guest today, Ladonna with Organic Soul KC. Thank you. She is here to show us some good stuff. So tell us a little bit about Organic Soul, how it came about, and how did you get to being like your caterer, correct? Yes, caterer correct. Caterer chef? Okay. Yes, yes. So about three years ago, and no, actually this month will be my three-year anniversary Yay. for my business, um, I kind of just started out um, on a fluke. Um, I um, was at Nella Studio doing yoga. Oh, yes. So, um, Another connection. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. So um, I started doing just some little small catering things from uh, for her event, and um, she suggested that I get involved into the Veg Life KC Wing Fest. So mm. I was nervous, hadn't really ever thought about doing something like this. And so just went out and did it. And that's kind of how Organic Soul got started. Um, uh, I was kind of forced into catering because at that point, once I got <laughs> the Wing Fest and won. Like, <laughs> you won you're a reigning champ, right? Um, last year, I came in second place. So, okay. yeah. So but do you, before but that, how many times? Yeah, three years. Three years. Yeah, awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. So um, it was it's um, was definitely great last year that there was a new kid on the block. Um, uh, vegan Vittles, Kimberly with oh, Vegan yeah, Vittles is a great yes. friend of mine. So, you know, there's no loss in when you, you know, are competing right. amongst friends. So yes. it was all good. So kind of got started that, but um, my, my actually um, plant-based journey started about 13 years ago. Okay. So um, I became... You're um, a vet out here. Yeah, I, mean, I was vegetarian. <laughs> I was vegetarian for about ten years, okay. and so cheese probably was my biggest holdup, mm -hmm. you know. And now that the cheese game has gotten so much better, um, yeah. it's a lot easier mm -hmm. for people who have that, you know, that that's kind of your last holdout. Yeah, you yeah. know, is the cheese. So now you have no excuses because so now everything um, cheeses are so much better than they were ten, yeah, twelve years ago. And you make some of your own, so yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We do cashew cheeses. Um, we do some set hard cheeses. You know, we have to. Be careful about doing those just because, you know, they are fermented, some yeah. of them, you know, mm -hmm. with the cashews. So okay. just staying under, um, you know, regulations, we okay. you know, do a lot of it. But yeah, I started that about 13 years ago. Actually, I started it with, um, I was doing yoga at a different studio and um, our yoga teacher, Kathleen, um, down at my yoga, she no, is no longer here in Kansas City, but out in California, um, gave us a 30 day vegan challenge. and. Um, did that for 30 days and never went back to eating meat after that. It just wow. consciously um, just changed some things in me. Yeah. So it almost was good for my health, you know, and yes. I always when people always ask me now, why did you do it? I always say, yeah, for my health reasons, because I was a healthcare consultant. So I read medical records for physicians and hospitals oh, okay. all day. So I probably would read hundreds of medical records and I just saw how sick people were, you know, yeah. and then the only thing the doctor's telling you to do is basically take these pills, you know, it never started with what you're putting in your mouth as far as nutrition. And I think that was the starting point for a lot of it. Okay. And it seems like a lot of times they will say, oh, you should lose weight. They won't give you any so you have. instructions. Oh, yeah. There's not very much guidance on nutrition. Oh, it's not at all. I mean, I read medical records. I mean, and at the end of it, you know, it's always, <clears throat> let's, you know, give them a statin. Let's give yeah. them, you know, these lipid reducers. Let's do all this stuff. But never mention, it's, it mentioned the diet, you know, one mm. word, diet, diet, change yeah. diet, diet, change diet. But yeah. never, you know, let's get into a plant-based diet or let's, you know, how should I approach changing my right. eating habits. More yeah. fruits, more vegetables, you know, just anything. They didn't do any of that. None of that, none of that. I mean, wow. so people are really, and I, and the biggest thing I think nowadays is that if it doesn't come in a pill and it doesn't happen immediately, that we are turned off. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, we've been very trained for instant, instant results. Instant yes. gratification, yes. Yes. always. I had somebody ask me that actually just today. They were like, hey, how can you lose weight fast and quick? Because I was telling them about my Especially when I go and do some water fast, I said, I don't water fast to lose weight. I water fast for spiritual growth and, and you know, different times in my life. And they're like, because I, I can do it. I'm like, you can, but that's why I don't do it for that. I yeah. said, um, but 
best way is just consistency and just yeah. making those subtle changes to create a better habit. Yeah. 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 And myself as an example, I do weight cutting for my fights. Mm -hmm. I will shrink by cutting water. You know, I do like the water fast and then I'll deprive. Mm -hmm. I can easily drop anywhere between five to 10 pounds right, yeah. in a 24 hour period. You can. But, but... I immediately put it back on mm -hmm. because I need to be healthy to compete. And so, um, when you when you do like the gimmicks to cut cut out weight, you know, cut body weight, it's not it's not sustainable. It's mm -hmm. uh, it's a it's a trick to make the numbers look different, mm -hmm. but it does not it does not translate to a lifestyle. You're right. right. And that's what people they 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 always dis are disconnected with those two. Yes. yes. Weight loss and lifestyle or health and lifestyle, your lifestyle affects everything. Yes. You know, and so if you're not even your mental state. Mm -hmm. If you're not in the right mental state, then you eat. You know, I, I struggled with binge eating for a long time yeah. just because I was in a mental, you know, depression and this kind of all things I was going mm -hmm. through with myself. So people don't understand how that affects you. So I'm awesome to see that you try yes. to take in what you've gathered in your journey, and then now you're trying to, you know, share it to the masses. Yeah, yeah. I think it's really important because um, one thing that I did see that you know it's not. People said, oh, I could never do this. I could never do that, Always, you know. Yeah. Um, but if you just take it like one step, you know, you can't eat, you know, a whole meal in one bite. You've got to just take little small little, pieces, yes. small pieces. Yes. So if um, one good thing I saw um, that they're a, kind of a new campaign where they're having one meal a day, mm. um, that's a one plant meal plant-based oh, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. so that's it I mean so if you can't do the whole concept that you know you can't do maybe a whole meatless Monday where all day you're going without meat at least try it. let's say this week I'm going to have all my lunches to be plant-based and that's mm -hmm. as easy as just yeah. having a salad mm -hmm. you yes. know and, and holding back the meat and holding back the ranch dressing and yeah. maybe going for some balsamic or some you know some lighter um, dressings, you know, without all the heavy plant-based um, or heavy um, meat and milk yeah, products. Yeah. And sometimes we do it unconsciously. It's so funny. We were just talking about the yesterday. The mini chef series that I do with Tova and the Royal Cohesive Network mm -hmm. is that when we were planning that for the kids, we didn't even talk. I didn't, you know, influence it at all on like you know plant-based. But every single meal that she's made, that she prepared, has all been either vegan or vegetarian. Last night they made a low a vegetable lo mein, oh, wow. which is you know this. Yeah. Unnat, you know, just uh, what what they say um, when they say it's like low key vegan. Like it wasn't even they shouldn't even meant it to be vegan, but it was. It was spaghetti noodles. You made the little the dressing mm -hmm. and the vegetables. Yeah. And the kids didn't. Eat, you know, we didn't be like, oh, you guys are eating vegan, but it was. The kids yeah. were eating, and then all of her meals. Was a, she made these fritters that were actually vegan. Mm -hmm. You know, these corn fritters because she used soy milk and things like that. So it's easy to do because we do yeah. it unconsciously sometimes. A lot mm -hmm. of our meals. If we stop thinking of the oh the vegan word, a lot of our meals are unconsciously vegan. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And doing like the one meal a day or your meatless mm -hmm. day is getting much more easy. We were talking about this before we uh, came on the air about how they're in Kansas City, Cowtown, Barbecue Town is becoming. <laughs> uh, there are so many more uh, options for plant based yes. eating. And you make a really good barbecue seitan. Yes. 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 I remember really? Yeah. Yes, yes, she does. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and, and and that was kind of my biggest thing is that I didn't want. I mean, that was my biggest thing that I missed. Mm -hmm. You know, the barbecue, and you know, and it is just about seasoning the preparation. Mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of it we get so you know bent out of shape that it's not. Or that we think that we're missing something. And mm -hmm. really, even with meat, I mean, nobody eats just plain meat. Right. right. You yeah. season, season it, it with something. You put you some sort of hold flavor Some in people. It. No one's just out there just biting the head off. <laughs> you and my people will season it. <laughs> right. There are some people who may not quite understand the concept of that. Right. Flavor to their food. Yeah. Right. I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> right, 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 right. But believe me, if they tasted it, they would be like, oh, this is lacking something, <laughs> you know? <laughs> So yeah, so exactly. <laughs> awesome. So um, I know we have a. You're going to be talking about a specific um, meal or 
food today. But yes. what, tell us a little bit what's on your menu. You, okay. you make your wings. We you yeah. talked about your barbecue seitan. What mm-hmm. are some of the other, like maybe your top five popular dishes? Um, today? Mac and cheese is really popular. Mac, okay, um, I've had that actually. Somebody called in on a KCUR show and mentioned my um, smoked um, jackfruit and mac and cheese as being, you know, one of the best in KC. So it's that time really, of year for that, too. Yeah, I was really excited about that. Yeah, um, around place. Thanksgiving time, um, we may or may not do this year. Um, but we have offered in the past, we do do our turk tan and dressing. Mm-hmm. And so that's a seitan um, based um, turkey loaf um, that we do um, with our homemade dressing mm-hmm. and gravy and um, pies. We do sweet potato pies, um, peach cobbler. Our peach cobbler is pretty good because it is actually gluten free. Oh, so nice. um, okay. we do try to add some gluten free items as well because we know that's kind of more um, of a big thing. People are just trying to cut back on their wheat. And I get it because, mm-hmm. you know, even when I make my seitan, um, I have to make sure that I have gloves on because I even have a wheat, a gluten allergy oh, and it makes wow. my hands itch. So oh, I okay. understand the concept okay. of being gluten free, you okay. know. So, um, yeah, so we try to do that. Um, so that's probably our top top ones okay. um if we're do down small little like bit, small bit. little um right now um we do try to cater for larger types mm-hmm. of groups um yeah. we've done weddings um corporate events um those just a types couple of weeks things. ago you catered a private uh discussion for the midwest soul veg fest with yes. dr milton mills and yeah. soleil yes. 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 yes yes that was awesome i'm that so mad awesome. i missed her but it's okay Man, everything it's okay. about soleil. that night was PCU. magical it was like, great the, it was i went great. through the line i was like this is good <laughs> and i saw you <laughs> back you. there hustling i was like oh okay she also, <laughs> i don't know if you remember she did the invisible vegan you? That yeah. was her. What? That yes. was her. Yes. Yeah. We're yes. gonna do a screening of that on Sunday. Yes, and I'll be there Sunday as well. I'll have my yes. um, jackfruit smoked nachos on Sunday with Uzazi House. Yes. 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 Uzazi Village. Village. Yes. Village. Yep. It's at um, from three to five. Um, check out my Facebook page or Hip Hop is Green. Okay. Yeah. Um, they'll have information on there. But I think it's a free event. And yeah, it's a free event. The... And uh, I was excited that. When that documentary released in chapters on YouTube, I, I was on it. It was yeah. great. And it's great. It's yeah. very... If you, if you have not seen The Invisible yeah. Vegan, uh, give them a little snippet of what they'll be coming into if they have time to come on Sunday. They So The Invisible Vegan deals with approaching the plant-based lifestyle, but also addressing uh, cultural and social issues. Mm-hmm. So uh, they they... They uh, address and answer a lot of the questions that people ask, especially people of color. Um, like, is veganism for people of color? Uh, do I have to give up traditional foods? Uh, is it going to be expensive? Do I have access? Yeah. Uh, I don't care. People who don't care about animal rights, then what are the other uh, motivating factors? And mm-hmm. health is a large one. And uh, so is. Uh, environmental issues. Uh, mm-hmm. Dr. Milton Mills is on that one as well, and yes. he brings up a lot of really good, important points. Okay. That was um, one, and what the health was another one that really changed people around me's mm-hmm. vision about it. You know that it <clears throat> kind of, those things kind of uh, mainstreamed it a little bit. Yeah. Yes, you know more um, so that people you know and you work that farm. <laughs> Right, and after what the hell? That Netflix have, is a, is a um, conspiracy. Oh yeah, that, no, that, that was uh, that first one. That was the very first yeah. one that I watched. One of the first ones I watched, and yeah. that was pretty, pretty dramatic. Just, <laughs> uh, just to kind of point this out, uh, Invisible Vegan is not on Netflix. It's going to be on Amazon Video. Okay. So for those of you that have Amazon Prime, you can catch it for free because you'd be ordering all that stuff. You might as well watch it. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Good. I'm so exactly. excited that you were able to come on the show today and talk to us a little bit and yeah. give us a little bit of your background. You know, I learned something new. Like, you know, I, th- I thought I, I knew you. I thought we was like BFF. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so excited. And then, you know, we're kind of just connecting. I said connecting the dots because, you know, I don't know if you, yeah, you yeah. realize that. But you have, I know, I'm really partial to your, your chicken tan wings. Thank I you. love Thank those. You. And your jackfruit tamales. But Thank you have you. some good stuff today for us. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So today I'm pretty, I love cauliflower and um, I like things that are kind of quick and versatile that you can spread across your menu. Yes. And cauliflower is one of those things that spreads across the menu 
wonderfully. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I just in doing this, I kind of put this together real quickly. Mm -hmm. Um, just some of the benefits of cauliflower that I didn't even know I was doing um, before I did this. <laughs> yeah. How beneficial it was. Um, but just one cup. So, again, just one cup, and we'll show you exactly how much that is in a second. It's just 25 calories. So, I mean, come that's, on. That's, that's nothing. nothing. This is an example of a nutrient-dense, calorie-light food. It's, mm -hmm. it's fantastic mm -hmm. yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, fiber, which we all need, three grams. So um, I'll show you in a minute how with that and some beans um, and making a cauliflower mash, you're getting your fiber, your protein all in um, one nice little meal. 77% vitamin C. So again, um, vitamin K gets a lot. Oh, yeah. um, vitamin B6, you know, a lot. Your folic, um, great as well so again really high in um, a lot of things for pregnant moms i'm looking at i'm yeah. sorry i went mommy mode i'm like that's yeah. all things that they tell you you need as a mom mm -hmm. so any yeah. moms out there add you some cauliflower in there i just did my show monday and i was talking about vitamin k mm -hmm. yeah it's uh, important for uh the neurons and getting uh the cells to perform and behave correctly. Oh, excellent. excellent. Really yeah. Good. And that's the only other thing about cauliflower that's kind of a warning. Um, besides the flagellants or the gas that you will mm -hmm. get, I mean, with anything that has so much fiber in it, you're going to get it. But it's also high in vitamin K, so you have to be careful if you're on any kind of blood thinners to make sure yeah. that you don't eat too much of it or be advised by your doctor, you know, if you're adding a lot of it to your, um, your, um, your meals. Yeah. Um, so another thing, um, low in calories, we talked about that high in fiber, has a lot of water in it, um, so it will help you in your weight loss. Mm -hmm. um, the amount of fiber helps with your digestive um, health, um, also the antioxidants, helps in reducing inflammation, um, helps us, protect us from um, chronic diseases, um, cancer improves digestion, um, helps with your antioxidants, gives you more of those. Um, and so then I just had a couple of different things that we'll talk about today. It's a good replacement too for your grains and your legumes. Mm -hmm. So um, cauliflower rice, which we'll yeah. talk about really quick right now. Um, <laughs> this will replace any of your brown or white rice. Okay. Um, it's really, really easy. Um, of course, when you get your head of cauliflower, you just want to just cut it down on the back of it. Just take off this back portion of it. What would you say is like the average price of a head of yeah. Uh, if you go to Aldi's, it's probably about a dollar twenty nine. Okay. So dollar twenty nine. You get dollar twenty nine. And how all of that? And this is gonna one meal, two meals. How many? Um. Okay. So let's look at this. Let's go ahead and do a cup. So I thought we would kind of look and just see what a cup of this looks like anyway. So here's about a cup a day that you would use for that, and so. Um, don't buy any more cauliflower rice in bags. Yes. We'll don't show you really quick. <laughs> you can either do it with a knife. I it's mean, with, which is an easy little type of chop on it. I mean, you get it pretty thin, you know, if you just keep going back and forth with it. Um, or if you do have a food processor at home, you can throw it in your food processor. It's just going to take a lot less time yeah. to do. But again, don't be... You know, don't buy, don't, don't spend an extra couple of bucks when you can, we can just, just kind of do it, it yourself. Real quick at home. Yep. Yeah. If yep. you're buying the bag, it's, you're buying the bag and then there's cauliflower that happens to be in it. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm guilty. I'm guilty of that. So I, now you know how easy it is, though. Yeah. You see? Okay. So just pulse it. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Three or four yeah. pulses. And we got rice. We got rice. That made like a stir fries with this. And yeah, yep. yeah. So you got your cauliflower rice right there. So easy. So the cauliflower rice um, can go here. I made um, taco meat with it. So that was our another um, healthy meat alternative. So this taco meat that I made has a little bit of the cauliflower rice, um, mushrooms, onions, and then I put a little soy sauce in it, and then whatever taco seasoning you like, and mm -hmm. you got your taco meat seasoning. So with this, you can do your rice. You can add it in to make some Spanish rice. I even do a sweet or, I mean, like, you know, the rice that your mom used to make for you with the rice. And the breakfast the, rice? The breakfast rice. You can mm -hmm. even do it <laughs> as breakfast rice yeah. if you want. Um, when I do, um, every year I do a fast. Mm -hmm. 
and um, just kind of a detox to clean my body out before the holidays to refill yes. it up. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'll even do um, uh, a breakfast rice with it. I'll crumble it up like this, add my nutritional yeast on it like a cheese mm-hmm. because I can't use any sort of cheeses on that. Um, it's just strictly pretty much raw vegetables, mm-hmm. um, but I will use a nutritional yeast. So I'll use that That's as a, a cheese. Idea. Yeah, Because when and, I do my fast, does. I'll add in some like asparagus mm-hmm. um, Tanil taught me that yeah added some asparagus yeah. yep so if you I'm just add a little bit of nutritional today. um little nutritional yeast to this it adds kind of like as a, um, like a parmesan parmesan yeah. yeah 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 parmesan yo i'm glad you said that i have some folks at home that are that are going to be super happy about that yeah yes. yeah and it and it, i mean of course you you, you just kind of get actually, the texture that got a, a nut that was just yeah so that's not one even cup. anything yeah that's out one of here. cup that's one cup so here you can add it in you know to dump it in whatever you want you know to add in your rice and you've got your whole nutrients for the day three grams of fiber you know your vitamin c and it's just 25 calories wow so if we want to go even further with this i want to show you a couple more applications that we've got here so we've got the cauliflower rice um this is a cauliflower soup that i did Ooh, so yeah. this same way, all you need to do is just basically add this into your your high speed your high speed blender. So you can use the same. So I mean, if you just use the normally, what I would do. Actually, I have it over here. It'd probably be a little bit better instead of doing this if you want either way I mean you can either do it as you crumble it up and put it in there or if you get it I've already cooked this a little bit steamed it steamed it so if you steam it it gets a little bit softer I like to do that for my um, cauliflower soup okay because it's just a little bit softer because you're going to eventually cook it anyway and here once you do it with the food processor it still is kind of coarse coarse yeah yeah yeah. but if you just steam it a little bit for about 10 minutes um, steam it um, then it comes out like that Okay. And then you can do your your cauliflower soup. So this basically just has water, nutritional yeast, salt, pepper in it. And um, then you get that um, sort of consistency. It's perfect for a day like this. Yeah. You warm it up. You know, um, actually, even if you want to put some extra cauliflower in there afterwards, yeah, you can okay. put just whatever um, spices you like. If you like some fresh parsley or basil or whatever, okay. you can spice it up like that and, and make it real tasty. That looks good. Yeah. Another application I love to do too is your mash. Uh-huh. So um, this will totally replace any of your mashed potatoes. So um, it's really good and healthy for you. So this is basically just mashed. So I cook, steam my um, cauliflower throw my beans in there, mash it up really good. When it's warm, you can mash it up a lot better. And then it comes up with the consistency just like that. Okay. So um, you can put your navy beans in there, your cannellini beans. Okay. Cannellini beans. Yeah, I never know what to do with, with that beans. at home. Yes. We put it in a lot of stuff. Yes. Hey, we could do it. I know, I'm, I'm so simple, like black <laughs> beans, pinto beans, no. maybe some chickpeas. Yeah, yeah. Chickpeas would be a little bit more dense for your mash. Mm -hmm. Not that you can't do it, but I like either the cannellini or the navy. Okay. They're a little bit easier, and they blend a little bit better with that. Okay, and you just salt? Yep, salt, salt? pepper. Yep, just mash it up, salt, pepper. And then I usually, after I get it mashed really good, then I usually put it back into the pan just to kind of soak, absorb some of the water out. Mm. Yep, then you can get a nice consistency where it's... um, you know, just like mashed potatoes. Yeah. So the so cauliflower just, mash was my first recipe that I found for cauliflower. Mm-hmm. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. Everybody was talking about the rice, but when I heard about the mash, I was like, I can make that. And it was pretty good. Yeah. yeah it was pretty good. Yeah, I like it because it gives you a lot. I mean, there again, you get, if you're getting with your one cup, you've already got your three grams of um, fiber in it, and then you add in a half a cup of beans, so mm-hmm. you get probably another two or three grams mm-hmm. of fiber, and so you're set for the day, probably, what was it, about 12 to 14 grams, I think, of fiber that we're supposed to have a day. I, I can't really recall, and I don't want to quote it to be wrong, but I know it's pretty yeah. pretty high, so we want to have for optimal health. Optimal, optimal, optimal health. And that's the thing, most Americans are pretty uh, efficient uh, when optimal, it comes yeah. to 
their fiber intake. Yes. And so this is a really easy and delicious way to get it. Yeah, yeah, I think so because a lot of times we think we've just got to go through the, you know, the the oats and the all those types of things, the flax and the, mm-hmm. um, what's the psyllium husk and all that <laughs> stuff to kind of get us, you know, get that digested. But this, you're right, this is a great way to add in a and lot for of for somebody fiber. that's trying to cut carbs, mm-hmm. you know, still enjoy the taste and flavor of like your mashed potatoes. But- yeah. Cut carbs and starches, or you know, keep people are ketoing. Yeah. Right. It's a whole other story. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's okay. We, we can talk about all of that because people are doing it. So yeah, yeah. yeah. keto. Yeah. You know, if you're, if you can, that well, this, this preface that was made for epileptic patients. So talk to your doctor if the keto diet is what you should yes. be doing because yes. it was mm-hmm. it's supposed to be beneficial for people that are already having other issues. Yes. Mm. So. And so but but yes. if you want to you know say you just hey i just want to reduce some carbs today yep. you know what i mean i'm not exercising I'm today not exercising or so i'm not I, generally i'm not very active. active so mm-hmm. that's a good reason to reduce your carbs but you know if you're if you're exercising you have a pretty high like daily activity you should be intaking those taking carbs, carbs. Mm-hmm. so but this like this you could either I like i like how you said you could either do it with or without the beans mm-hmm. just kind of depending on what you're at yeah that, so there's options mm-hmm. for everybody and I, I love that about this the soup is going to be good like i said i'm thinking I'm like go make me some like uh garlic toast and mm-hmm. you know i don't mind i don't mind no carbs but you know garlic <laughs> toast. <laughs> but you also i what i actually found too like for like my toppings of soup i do all those fried onions a lot because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. those fried onions are so good and they're crunchy and you can throw those on top of there so that would be good yeah and even more um talking about that um as far as um carbs and stuff they're even you know you see the big craze now for the cauliflower um Crust. Crust. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I tried to find those, um, but the only thing about those, if you don't make them on your own, a lot of them do have, have eggs. eggs in them. Yeah, for that so you binder. have to be sure to um, do it. But it's really easy. I do it a lot of times when I'm doing my fast. Um, you would just grind it up like you do your um, rice. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Just grind it up really, really thin and then use some egg replacement. So you mm-hmm. either use that egg replacer or use the flax yeah. mill mm-hmm. and mix it up and then just spread it out on your cookie sh- cookie sheet or whatever your um, pizza dough pan and then um, put in whatever herbs or mm-hmm. um, if you like the mozzarella cheese. We should definitely cheese. demo that one day yeah. because I yeah. think when um, people are doing these things at home, they don't understand like I can do what with what for eggs because you got flax, yeah. you got aquafaba, yes. and then there are some pre-made uh, substitutes and all it is is texturizer. You don't really yeah. need to add in animal products and tons of calories to do it. So. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. But it'll be yeah, it'll be a fun project. Well, yeah, that would be, we'll yeah. do that one. We'll yeah, do. that's good. And then you also yeah, yeah. also what are yeah, these, um, yeah, these are <laughs> um, cauliflower steaks. So again, um, these are used on a lot of different um, places that you go to that have um, vegan and vegetarian items on the menu now um they've been doing a lots of um cauliflower wings yeah mm-hmm. so you'll see them with the buffalo or you can add in oh, any of those yes, things so that's right these are basically the same deal um what i did on these these are basically cauliflower steaks and so the key on to cut these really well is that you want to cut them like this on when you're cutting them down cut them like that so that you can have your steak like that. And then mm-hmm. you can just put on, I put like a Montreal seasoning on it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Put a little bit of, um, if you do um, soy sauce or uh, there's a vegan Worcestershire sauce that you can get as mm-hmm. well. Um, put that on there, stick it in the oven at about 400 for 10, 15 minutes, flipping them and you'll get something really nice like this. And it does really taste meaty. It has a nice mm-hmm. kind of unami taste where you're kind of getting that meatiness taste mm-hmm. in it. Awesome. So, uh, what, I'm, what I'm also loving too is that so you've made, out of this one head of cauliflower, you yeah, made, you made like three rice. Things. I, 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 I can see maybe about four steaks coming out of here. Right, <laughs> you have four steaks. You cut them down like this. Take off your florets, and these will be your your you wings. Know, your wings. Your cauliflower yep. wings. So just like you would bake these, you just put those in the oven. Um, you can even 
um, put a little bit of, you know, like we were talking about with your um, faux egg mixture. Mm -hmm. Mix it with that, put a little panko on it, mm -hmm. put it in the oven or in your air, air fryer, fryer. Yep. and get them crispy. <laughs> so we can also have a crispy wing. I've seen a really nice um, vegan cauliflower parmesan oh. um, one on there. So basically you're doing the same thing. You're just going to put your breading on top, bake it in the oven, then you can put your marinara sauce on it um, awesome. and your vegan cheese on top. And that's got awesome. a whole nother meal. So yeah, I mean, out of this one head of that was what a dollar twenty nine. Dollar twenty nine. We've got one, two, three, four, five different applications that we talked about. And we haven't talked about the cauliflower, the, the cauliflower wings that they use for chicken and waffles. Yeah, that stuff. What? Yeah. Yeah. So if you ever in Colorado go to Watercrest, that's one of their specialties on the menu. Uh, but people, you know, people have been doing chicken and waffles for like yeah, oh yeah, a long time, and and uh, vegans I think uh, jumped on it real quick because you know the wings are is just you know bread your cauliflower, yep, hook yep. it up with some good seasoning and uh, get yourself a nice waffle. Yeah, <laughs> yep. You can't go too wrong with yeah. the cauliflower wings. That's why a lot of places you know have them because it's a lot easier than making seitan because yeah. you know you got to that's such a process and people don't really realize they just see the finished product that I come with, oh, you know, yeah. at the different oh, events, yeah. I made it, it takes me like five hours to make I those. I made it so. one time and, and I will never make it, not because it was, <laughs> it was time consuming, but Neela, she was like, they don't taste like LaDonna's. And oh. I was like, Her, my kids are cool. Like, like, they're, they're truthful. I, you know, I came in mad. I was like, okay, right, right. we'll just make sure we order her wings. No, no, no. <laughs> so that just means you got to practice. That's more. right. That's you know, right. Because my wings didn't always, you know. It took practice yeah, and time practice. to perfect to mm -hmm. where the what you get nowadays. Yeah. So yeah, it just takes time. But yes, but as you know, it's time consuming. Yeah. So this is a lot easier way, and it gives you a nice mimic the the texture, the feel of it. Gives mm -hmm. you a really nice representation of it. So even if you're not breading them and you want to stick stay away from it, um, I just do a nice mixture of the nutritional yeast. Put your um, kind of um, like a little seasoning bowl, nutritional yeast, salt, pepper, you know, coat it really well and then just put it in the um, grapeseed oil and put it in the um, That was like, like a like a like a chicken cutlet. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like mm -hmm. put that like you're talking about the panko. You could take the whole steak, put it in the panko, mm -hmm. air fry it up, yeah. get you like a chicken sandwich. Yeah, yeah. Sandwich. So now we that's See, a six she, meal. Now we're getting creative over now here. Now yeah. that's, that's right. right. That's right. and I, I was telling somebody the other day about that. They're like, well I, I really feel that you know it's a lot easier to go vegan or plant based if you have if you can start thinking outside the box and you're you're a pretty decent cook or you do cook you're yeah. open to cook yes. because you we you know we were talking about it before the show is there's not too many restaurants that we can just go to no. I can go pretty much anywhere and I have to just make something but there's right. not too many places I can just go and get some food right. so you have to be open to trying new things cooking for yourself to figure out what you know works for if you're not because well, and it's a lifestyle mm -hmm. um the reason you know restaurants and fast food restaurants there you're not supposed to live in somebody else's kitchen that is true you know yep. uh when we are helping families make their transition um we the first thing we do is set, set them up with a menu and show them how to do their grocery shopping because yes. most people are not very efficient with that and it's you know, it's a skill. You have to practice it mm -hmm. and develop it. So when you start cooking and prepping your meals, you're not cooking. You're not spending two hours just to cook just dinner. You spend two hours and you're cooking a week's worth of dinner. Yes. And yes. with simple um, foods that are very versatile, like the cauliflower, mm -hmm. <clears throat> you can cover a lot of ground uh, very affordably and just Honestly, for not a lot of time. Yeah, yeah this yeah. was pretty simple. Yeah. You could you could probably, probably freeze the soup if you need to. It, oh, would, yeah. hold, it would hold really mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. You know, make your mash. So yeah. like even your cauliflower. I mean, you know, if you have to, you can even cut it up, freeze Just it. Freeze you it know. For later. Yeah. yeah, freeze it, and then you can do your applications of whatever you need to do. You know, take it out and 
you know, make your rice or whatever you need to do, mm -hmm. you know? So yeah, like it, it is. And it's, um, I always tell people too, people think that you got to go to Whole Foods. You could just go to Aldi's yeah. and get fresh vegetables all day mm -hmm. for cheap. I mean, and yep. if you just stay in that area, I mean, they even have a few vegan items there. Yeah. I mean, they've got a good vegan mozzarella cheese. They've got some, um, a vegan hot dog. Um, they but got some yeah. veggie patties. Yeah, yeah. veggie like patties. That. Yeah. So, I mean, there are things that you can get there, but mainly, I mean, if you're just looking for vegetables, um, that's a great place to go that yeah. you can yeah. get good, fresh vegetables. Now that, that the, are the city markets are going to be, like, I, I, the mobile marketing come today because oh, yeah. of the, the weather. The weather. Mm -hmm. And then I think they have maybe two more weeks. Mm -hmm. they, they go, I think they stop before Thanksgiving. So, these are really good options when when the weather starts changing and you need fresh produce right so right. all these is definitely a, a good choice i i shop at all these i do shop at whole Foods just because they deliver with amazon prime because now i have amazon prime yeah <laughs> and they just did this whole thing where they don't charge a fee for it if you they're order trying to get 35 dollars you don't really? pay delivery but, but, wow. yes it's they, like they, they're trying to get me See, my, my, i'm not a whole foods uh fan and uh, they 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 keep throwing in little things. I'm They're like, making that's a good to idea. Bring you, but I'm like, I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> remember, we talked about the uh, the saving money. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna say, I'm gonna save those little nuggets for next time. But just there's there's ways to save money. I would just kind of throw us a, a teaser. Up teaser, there. yeah. I spent 160 dollars at Whole Foods this weekend, but I bet then I overall with all my refunds and backs, I spent about 100. Oh, okay. And that can get you a good. A good ways uh, with your your family or your household. I know so, I know families that spend like three and four hundred dollars a week on groceries, mm -hmm. and yeah. they don't know how to do anything with it. You right. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So. Just throw it in the oven and yeah. warm up stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I hate to go to places and see people's baskets just full of you know ninety percent full of mm. like junk food everything, snacks. but the There's first you know the first aisle of the market. I mean, you know, you know, and then if you do. Buy it. You know, they got a veggie platter, a veggie tray in there that has cut up vegetables that they paid like $15 for when you could buy yeah. like tons of what's in there for $5. And then you can, <laughs> you can eat it and serve it the way you want yes, to. Yes, you know? yes, yes. I just, you know, every time I see somebody with a basket like this, I just want to be able to just pull them over and say, let me just tell you a little something. Hey, so, you know, light bulb, I just always got. We're going to have to take the show on the road. Yes. We're going to have to do a grocery, store grocery shop. shop. Yes. Grocery shopping uh, yes. field trip. Yeah. Uh, so we'll have to do that. Yeah, it's gonna we're going to have a field trip. You want to have a field trip with us? Sounds wonderful. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, excited. I'm excited. Yeah, we can yeah, do that. Yeah. I'm so, um, this is awesome. I'm so overwhelmed like because this is awesome. Please tell us how to get a hold of you. Okay. Please tell, show, tell them your handles, your, your numbers, your emails, all, right. all that. Yes, yes. So Granite Soul KC is the name of our company. And um, you can catch us on Facebook, Instagram, um, LinkedIn, um, any of those places. Um, we do have a website. Um, our number is 816-256-0895. Okay. Um, we also have um, um, info at Organic Soul kc.com is our um, website or our um, information and um, or I'm sorry our email address and then you can go on our website um, which is just organic soul kc um, and check out all of our menu and um, we try to keep our calendar updated um, on there with the different events that will be around the city but um, definitely um, check us out this Sunday yes at the invisible vegan um, we will be there and um, and again we'll just keep you posted of any other events Yes. yes, awesome. I'm so excited that you were able to come today Thank and you. talk to us about the amazing benefits and just like money saving for cauliflower. Like yes. I just, literally like we just made all these meals for in less than maybe twenty dollars with all the extra stuff. Right. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I mean, because the only thing other than the cauliflower that we probably would add to this, you know, just your shells, and your it, salsa, yeah, just, salt, pepper, nutritional yeast, and mm -hmm. pretty, pretty simple. Yeah, pretty and simple. We, we fed a lot of people. Yeah, oh, yeah. this is good. So I'm super excited. This is cheap, easy. That's what we talk about. Like we wanted to bring this show to you to show you how easy a plant-based lifestyle can be. Yeah. yeah. And how to incorporate. Either if you mm. you decide to go full vegan, or just you want to add more meals in. You want to yeah. do a day of the week. You want to do um, one for, meal for the week. Whatever. Yeah. And for whatever reason, you want to save a little bit of money. Start <laughs> eating healthier. Money. It's it's all good. It's right. all good. It's gonna change your life. I mean, I I just always tell people. Just what what changed my life was one 30 day 
event where I just shocked my body into doing something different. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and eating raw for 30 days just really made me, when I started adding food back in, I was just like, Starting to feel crappy again. Uh, uh, and so right. you see, your body will tell you, I don't like that. I, right. I liked it better when you were eating that. Yeah. You know, so you if you listen to your body more, I mean, and every time that's you a, get indigestion or gas, I mean, you know that your body is trying to tell you something. something. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Well, thank you again thank Lana, you. Uh, for coming out, you know. Can we maybe count on you for something else, maybe? Sure. Next, okay. Well, we're gonna have to pull it. Yeah, we'll put you on a calendar. We'll put you on a calendar. We need you back. We, need, we yeah, might we need, need you to, uh, you know, wheel out some of your menu. Okay, we can definitely you know do I mean? that. Yeah, <laughs> we can do that. Yeah, so we will do that. Um, if you guys have any questions for her, please write them in the comments, and we'll be make sure you guys are connected. Um, and then if you have any questions for Dan, well, what's going on new with you? Any Yo, you're training for next year? I am training for, in three weeks, I'll be in Portugal. Mm. Uh, I am doing a three-day uh, mixed martial arts tournament. I have the potential to fight up to nine times in the weekend. Oh, wow. And also, I'm going to be in Mirandela, Portugal. So I'm going to be having some fun over there in Europe. Uh, it's gonna be warm over there too. Oh yeah, you're gonna yeah. miss our winter. I'm, 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 Whatever. Like this Boots. stuff that's going on outside is nonsense, and I will not have it. <laughs> right, it's October 30th. What is going on? I will going not on? have it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, after that, I will be taking some time off. I'm going to be training. We're going to make some more workout videos. Yep, yep, yep. And then uh, we the will new be, series. Yeah, coming out. Yes, and then we will be sharing a lot more when it comes to uh, vegan options, delicious vegan meals shopping all of that great stuff okay awesome and this uh what's going on with at linwood we got the glow party this friday seven to nine i got about 12 instructors hitting the dance floor for you guys ten dollars for members not members again this is a fundraiser to help raise money for all the amazing things we do here for our youth um next month we got we're partnering up with the the team wall street foundation because we're gonna do the santa shuffle again so i got coach susan i'm gonna be doing a six week uh, five couch to 5k kind of prep so that's oh, gonna wow. be really nice. good um, cool. for them and it, so it says it's like 25 for members 50 for non-members but there's a $25 coupon available if you register for the run so let's do the math that's free for members only $25 for a six-week training camp to teach you how to run the uh, 5k super oh, wow. deal I got new classes coming that step lady is bringing extreme hip-hop to Linwood Super excited about that. Um, we got Erica, my cycle instructor. She's adding a new class to the schedule. Mix fits always in the place. So, you know, um, a lot of great things happening. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for Thank having me. Thank you so to my much. other co host that was holding it down. Um, I don't know what we're going to do next week, but we'll let you guys know. I, I have an idea. We'll Ooh. talk off camera. <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming Thank on, Linwood. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.